Teradata has added columnar capabilities to Teradata 14, which is the database. That's the database for their large machines, their data warehouse appliances, you know, everything. And it is the most significant enhancement in Teradata 14, perhaps their most significant enhancement in the last decade. And what it does is it adds the capability to store some or all of the columns of a table in a different way, in a columnar way, not with all uh, columns of the row stored successively within a data block. It's column by column stored in different data blocks. And so if a table has 10 columns, you could have up to 10 different blocks storing one column apiece. And so the advantage to this is we run a lot of queries that access a small percentage of the overall columns uh, in a table. And we access a small percentage byte-wise is really what I'm talking about. And so only those columns would be brought into the query processing, not the whole thing. And the block is the unit of I.O. So if you're actually bringing in a row-based record, you're bringing in all the columns. In a column-based orientation, you're only bringing in those columns into processing that you're interested in, either that you're selecting or that are in the where clause. So there's a lot of advantages when you have these really long column lengths and by the way, or row lengths. And by the way, you should, you should go ahead and design it, design your tables correctly such that if they have long lengths, that's okay. But you might consider putting that into a column orientation so that only those columns that are necessary get brought into the processing. And that can dramatically save the uh, on performance of those types of queries.